More individuals are using preparation to protect themselves and their family in the uncertain environment of today. But as society becomes more regulated, some things that were formerly easily obtained are now prohibited or limited. We'll cover a crucial subject in this video, preparing things that are now prohibited or strictly restricted, and the reasons you might want to think about obtaining them now. We'll examine a variety of these objects, elucidating their limitations, their significance to a comprehensive preparation strategy, and the potential consequences of being without them at critical times. We'll look at how these things, which range from self-defense weapons to necessary survival equipment, may significantly impact your preparation plan. Knowing what is now accessible and how to obtain and utilize these goods ethically and lawfully is crucial because rules are always changing. This video will provide you with the knowledge you need to design your survival toolbox wisely, regardless of your level of expertise. We'll start with perimeter trip alarms before moving on to the list of things. Section 1. Trip alarms around the periphery. Perimeter. Trip alarms will be one of the main topics we cover. These alarms are essential for safeguarding your family's safety and your property. Trip alarms produce a loud noise that instantly notifies you to unexpected activity using a 209 primer, which is comparable to what is found in shotgun rounds. In addition to providing you with an immediate warning of any security breach on your property, this audio alarm may be sufficient to deter attackers. The ability of trip alarms to blend in with their natural surroundings is a significant benefit. To make them difficult for attackers to find, you may conceal them in gardens, wooded areas, or along the edge of your property. They can surprise unwelcome guests with this level of stealth, which gives you crucial time to respond. But it's important to utilize these gadgets sensibly. Using just 209 primers, never live shotgun shells, is an important safety precaution. A person who unintentionally sets off the alarm might be hurt by using live bullets which could have major ethical and legal repercussions, such as potential criminal charges or civil lawsuits. Following the suggested primers lowers the danger of damage and maintains the gadget within the law. Trip alarms are widely used in preparing and survival societies. Because of their ease of use and efficiency, they offer a strong yet affordable layer of protection that gives you a greater sense of control over your surroundings. In addition to warning you and your family, the loud noise deters would-be burglars from moving forward unnoticed. The location of these alerts is also important. They offer good coverage if placed at strategic access points or around the perimeter of your property, particularly in rural or isolated regions where law enforcement response times may be slower. An instant alert system, such as a trip alarm, may be quite helpful in these circumstances since it allows you time to react to any possible danger. Purchasing perimeter trip alarms is a simple choice for any serious preparedness enthusiast. They provide additional security measures beyond the norm, enabling you to be prepared for unforeseen circumstances. Carefully placing them across your property demonstrates initiative and planning two qualities that are essential in the preparing industry. As the usage of these devices grows, regulations may be tightened, but now is the ideal moment to understand how to utilize them safely and efficiently to bolster your security strategy. Section 2. Tools for Lockpicking In the realm of readiness, some techniques that may appear unusual or even controversial might be essential to your capacity to adjust under trying circumstances. Tools like lockpicking kits have acquired popularity in the preparing industry, where flexibility is essential, due to their usefulness in emergency situations. Even though they can appear to be holdovers from a bygone period, these technologies can be very helpful when more traditional approaches are ineffective, particularly when you need to access something immediately. To utilize them appropriately, though, it's critical to comprehend their moral and legal limitations. A typical lockpicking kit comes with a number of tools, such a 10-piece hook set, sometimes known as jigglers. These tools are very useful for unlocking older automobile locks when other methods don't work. 
Consider a situation in which the ability to open a car may be the difference between shelter and the weather, or between having access to essential goods and being left without them. Having the necessary abilities and resources to effectively and covertly unlock an automobile may be a huge help in these situations. A home storage lock set is another item that is frequently brought up in conversations about lockpicking. These are excellent for practice, giving preppers a secure setting in which to refine their lockpicking techniques. By honing your lockpicking techniques with these sets, you may enhance your patience, accuracy, and problem-solving skills, all of which can come in very handy in stressful situations. But when it comes to lockpicking equipment, it's important to keep in mind the ethical and legal issues. Local laws governing these instruments differ, and in many jurisdictions, possessing lockpicking equipment is permissible provided that no criminal intent is present. Because of legal issues, websites like Amazon may limit or forbid the selling of lockpicks, making it difficult to sell these tools. For preppers who might consider these equipment essential, this instills a feeling of urgency. Since the tools may become more difficult to get in the future, some people are making it a goal to build a lockpicking toolbox while negotiating these complicated laws. Effective lockpicking tool use also promotes a mental change. It encourages creativity and clever problem solving as an alternative to using force. By preventing needless harm, discreet access to property might facilitate future reconstruction or recovery. By developing a preparedness strategy based on accountability and foresight, preppers may make sure they're ready, both practically and ethically, by understanding how to use these instruments within ethical and legal bounds. Lockpicking tools are a useful skill set that connects traditional craftsmanship to contemporary survival demands. They are not merely for unlocking locks. Gaining proficiency with these items shows preppers' dedication to independence and fortitude in the face of adversity. These tools provide special answers for problems like obtaining resources, securing supplies, or protecting loved ones while emphasizing the significance of employing them sensibly and lawfully. Section 3. Keys and Handcuffs Being ready for everything is essential when it comes to preparation. Although they may not be the first items you consider when assembling your emergency pack, handcuffs and keys can be quite helpful in some high-risk situations. Despite being frequently linked to police enforcement, preppers who want more protection and control might benefit from these capabilities in a number of real-world ways. Double Lock Steel Police Edition handcuffs are the most widely utilized kind in preparation. These handcuffs are a great option when you need to bind someone for safety concerns since they are strong, dependable, and made to endure pressure. If the individual is confined for an extended length of time, the double lock function is essential for preventing damage since it guarantees that the cuffs won't tighten anymore. Handcuffs can help contain a threat or keep someone under control until assistance comes or order is restored in a survival or group situation. It is equally crucial to have the appropriate keys for these handcuffs. Once the issue is under control, they enable you to release someone in a safe and timely manner. With the flexibility that handcuff keys offer, you may safely manage restraints and avoid keeping someone in a confined posture for longer than is required. Laws pertaining to keys and handcuffs, however, might differ greatly. Even having handcuff keys without the required authority may be against the law in some jurisdictions. In order to prevent any legal problems, it is crucial for anybody considering the use of handcuffs as part of their preparation plan to comprehend and abide by local laws. Even though the law is complicated, carrying keys and handcuffs in your emergency kit might be helpful, particularly if law enforcement is not accessible or social systems are collapsing. These instruments provide a greater level of control in tense situations, whether they are used for self-defense, resource security, or loved one protection. Nevertheless, it's crucial to think about the moral ramifications of employing these technologies and make sure they're employed appropriately. The main lesson is that keys and handcuffs may be useful items in your survivalist toolbox that offer security and peace of mind 
when handled properly and sensibly. There are severe legal and ethical repercussions for abusing handcuffs. Handcuffs are useful, but it's crucial to understand that their use requires a great deal of care and responsibility. Innovative preppers have discovered new use for handcuffs in survival scenarios beyond their conventional function. Handcuffs, for example, can be used as temporary locking mechanisms to secure tools or even to keep people out of doors. When taking into account the erratic risks of a survival situation, their sturdy construction guarantees that they offer a degree of protection that is tough to penetrate. Because of their adaptability, handcuffs are a fascinating addition to any prepper's arsenal. Even while they might provide tactical benefits, it's imperative to use them responsibly. The ethical and legal obligations associated with these instruments must be thoroughly understood by preppers. Handcuffs and keys should be carefully considered, supported by study, and a thorough awareness of any potential legal ramifications before being included in your preparation plan. Maintaining legality while successfully preparing for unanticipated obstacles requires striking a balance between readiness and legality. Section 4. Sturdy Zip Fasteners Having dependable and adaptable equipment is crucial while preparing, and heavy-duty zip ties are a prepper's secret treasure. Even though they are frequently considered basic items for home maintenance or construction, these sturdy zip ties, especially the police-grade ones, are quite useful in a variety of emergency scenarios. These zip ties, which are made of sturdy nylon, are made to withstand fluctuations in temperature and UV rays so they won't break down when you need them most. The enhanced locking mechanism of heavy-duty zip ties, which offers a firm hold even under strain, distinguishes them from their ordinary counterparts. This makes them a great choice for a number of uses in both anticipated and unforeseen situations. For example, they can serve as temporary handcuffs in an emergency situation when law enforcement is not accessible. Additionally, they may lock up valuables to stop theft or movement while being transported. In addition to these useful uses, heavy-duty zip ties may be used for emergency repairs, such as repairing damaged equipment, tarps, or fences, or for temporarily binding items. This adaptability is essential when you need to be creative and don't have access to specialist equipment. Additionally, zip ties are perfect for keeping cables and hoses organized in confined areas, such temporary buildings or shelters, creating a clutter-free atmosphere that lowers the chance of tripping. Zip ties can also be used to attach tents or construct shelters in a survival scenario. In an emergency, they enable speedy assembly, which might save lives. Because of their strength, they are perfect for protecting tarps from the weather by keeping them in place during heavy winds. They also take up very little room in your emergency pack or bug out bag due to their small size and light weight, which is important when every ounce of weight matters. Because they can support big weights, heavy duty zip ties are helpful in heavier applications without needlessly adding weight to your supplies. Zip ties should be stocked ahead of time due to the possibility of supply chain failures or social upheavals. Even while they might be easily accessible right now, preppers' demand is rising and shortages may become an issue in the road. In addition to their useful applications, heavy-duty zip ties represent the preparing mentality, a dedication to preparedness and independence. They emphasize that even tiny commonplace objects may play a significant part in your survival plan demonstrating a creative and proactive approach to prepare for any obstacles that may emerge. One fundamental trait that preppers hold in high regard is adaptability. They are aware that in times of difficulty, having the flexibility and quick thinking to adapt might be the difference between comfort and misery. Heavy-duty zip ties are certain to be accessible when required most if you buy them in advance. To extend the life of any kitchen item, it's a good idea to become familiar with the maintenance guidelines. Their shelf life and effectiveness can be prolonged by following easy procedures, such as keeping them out of direct sunlight. Section 5. Guerrilla Warfare Books. Some preppers turn to unusual strategies to get an advantage when it comes to survival emergency preparation. 
guerrilla warfare books are excellent sources of information that offer important perspectives on tactics that might be modified for situations involving survival or self-defense. In circumstances where conventional mechanisms are no longer dependable, these publications provide an in-depth analysis of irregular warfare techniques, which might be vital. This category includes two noteworthy books, The Anarchist Cookbook and the U.S. Guide to Unconventional Warfare, Army Special Forces. William Powell wrote The Anarchist Cookbook in 1971, and it has long been controversial. It contains comprehensive guidelines for creating bombs, guns, and other means of resistance. It should be handled carefully, even though it is a historical item that captures the counterculture movement of its day. This book reminds preppers of the thin line that separates being prepared from being careless. Even if some of the material could be helpful in dire circumstances, it's important to view this material critically and only take the beneficial information that pertains to survival scenarios. Conversely, the USA significantly more organized and methodical approach to guerrilla. Warfare may be found in the Army Special Forces Guide to Unconventional Warfare. This manual, which was authored by military experts, explains tactical, operational, and strategic elements of unconventional warfare. Important topics including armed resistance, resilience building, and promoting unity among tiny groups functioning in difficult settings are covered. This website gives preppers a chance to learn about organized resistance and adaptation, two important abilities when dealing with unforeseen situations. Even while these books can be powerful, it's crucial to use caution when purchasing them, particularly in the current digital era. Considering how easily our digital footprints can be monitored, buying books online that contain sensitive material may cause privacy issues. Think about utilizing cash purchases at actual bookstores or visiting nearby libraries to preserve your privacy. Using VPNs or encrypted communication techniques can assist protect privacy when conducting business online for people who prefer digital formats. When preppers expect a turbulent and uncertain future, their interest in guerrilla warfare literature tends to increase. Self-reliance becomes the main means of survival during periods of society breakdown, when traditional mechanisms fail. People may learn to adapt, plan, and maximize few resources to overcome obstacles by comprehending guerrilla warfare strategies. This type of readiness improves your capacity to think strategically under duress and cultivates a robust, independent attitude. Beyond personal survival, community preparation can benefit greatly from an understanding of guerrilla tactics. These techniques can aid in the organization of cooperative defensive measures in group survival situations, fostering a common understanding that fortifies collective security. By sharing strategic information among members of a group, preppers may make sure that everyone is better equipped to handle emergencies together, enhancing relationships and increasing survival rates. But having such information necessitates taking ethics into account. It's crucial to strike a balance between readiness and abuse potential. Preppers need to make sure that their quest for tactical expertise complies with moral and legal requirements. These values may be strengthened by holding responsible conversations within the prepping community, which will hold everyone responsible for applying their information sensibly and securely.